It's a new secret model on open router and that model seems to be really doing good and this model is Polaris Alpha and for a limited amount of time you can use this model both on the interface and also on API for free. So it's not going to charge you anything zero dollar input token and zero dollar output token. So in this video I wanted to talk about this model. So this model could be from XAI, could be from Gemini. The model comes with 256,000 context window and the model is good at three different things most importantly. One it is coding. The second is tool calling and the third one is instruction following. So if you want to access the model, I'll link the model link in the YouTube description. This is just a code word. It's not a real word. When the model is going to be launched, it's not going to be launched as Polaris Alpha. But after you click the link, all you have to do is click chat and then get started. So you have got a bunch of options that you can start with and then see how the model is doing. You want to enable the 2D game and then ask the model to build a very simple 2D game. Build a simple um, 2D game word game just like hangman make sure you have interactive features okay let's end it and the model has started working i think the model's primary strength here is coding i don't think like the model is good with uh, general reasoning or maybe you know if you want to talk to a girlfriend or anything as such but the model seems to be really good with coding from my test. While the model is building, we can go again and then ask certain questions to the model. This is a question from IIT JE, which is an entrance exam in India, just like SAT. I'm going to copy this question. The right answer here is three by 48 and then come and paste it. See, whenever we test the models with these Olympiad questions, one, one obvious thing is sometimes, you know, it could be part of the training data, but also what we are trying to understand is if it has a decent reasoning process. So you can see here, original deck of cards, 52 and then it is finally coming up with an answer and the answer is 3 by 48 and which is 1 by 16. So it has got very good step by step process with which it is answering which is a good thing. Our 2D word game is finished. So we're going to go back, click preview and then see. Okay, so what is this? Word breaker, zero gravity hangman. Okay, so this is a live session. The interface is good. Like if you see the UI, the UI is futuristic. I mean, um, it's nice. Let's try to play E. E is there. I. I is there. A is there. Maybe it is America. I don't know. A and okay, it's not America. A um uh, L is not there. P is not there. D is there. Asteroid. I don't know. A S S T R O. Cool. So we managed to successfully find, we couldn't see the hangman coming. I think honestly speaking, this is a great UI. Uh, we have, uh, we have seen multiple times the boring gradient UI. And when you compare it with that UI, this, this is a very good UI. And it's just like one simple prompt. Like it's probably one of the dumbest prompt that you would have seen. And with the prompt, it managed to create all these files and it is all available. I wouldn't say it's necessarily like super fast. Um, I sometimes feel it's fast. I don't know if it is the load balancing issue or the model's capability in itself, but I think the model is extremely strong in terms of coding. Next, I'm going to ask the model to give me a very simple bash command. Give me a simple bash command to understand the size of my Mac desktop. Okay. So it's processing as you can see here, paste it. 26 GB. Cool. Uh, and it gives me human readable. I ideally like at this point, these models shouldn't make any mistake with, with this particular thing, but yeah, just testing the models, small capability. So next I wanted to try from simple bench, which is a popular benchmark created by a YouTuber. And, um, in this case, I'm just copying the question. I don't think this is going to be part of the training data set, but, uh, you never know. So this is a question and the right answer is zero in this case. And let's see if the model is doing it and it is doing the calculation and it is saying the answer is 20. So obviously the model has gotten this incorrectly. So as you can see here, the first question, the model has gotten incorrectly. Let's look at the second question. The right answer is at the same height as blue ball to come back here and then ask the same question. I'm not refreshing the context window given that it's supposed to have 256,000 context window. So at the moment in the story, the purple ball is most likely still in the air higher than blue ball. Okay. Um, still inside the blue ball, same height as the blue ball is the right answer, but it is saying it should be higher than the blue ball. So as you can see here, the model is, I don't think the model is really good with logical reasoning, but I believe the model is a good coding model, especially it has got a very good front end vibe. Create a beautiful 
modern looking framer inspired landing page for an AI um, boutique I don't know, um, design firm called Little Coder Labs. This is all the information I've given and then let's see how it is going to build and then we're going to see. So you can always click here open and then see this. Because the model is on open router, you can also use this model within your Visual Studio code or using Klein, whatever app that you're using for recording, you can use this model inside that for a limited amount of time for completely free. Our design is ready and as you can see here, it's probably one of the unique designs that you would see AI designing. I mean, uh, you, most of the designs are very boring, but here it is much better. So you've got the header and you've got like some highlights and animation here. And even here, I, I, it's it's a good design. So you've got decent animation. The color combination is good. It is not boring. It looks modern. And uh, I think, yeah, overall, I feel that the model is really good with programming. The model, though, took a lot of time. So in this case, it took four minutes. So I think this is probably thinking heavy model. But also the fact that if the model is producing something like this, then it's, it's obviously uh, good for people who are using it for coding. Like I said, you can use this model within your favorite IDE and wherever you want to use. I'll link it in the YouTube description. Let me know about what you think about this model. See you in another video. Happy prompting.